You need athletes to play football, and that's exactly what Makai Flowers is. The on three, four star athlete is the subject of our T. Frank's film room today. Is he a receiver? Is he a defensive back? Is he a safety? What does he play at the next level? Penn State football has a clear idea of what he's going to be, and I'll show you why I think they're correct in T. Frank's film room. First off, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and it's the holiday season. There's a wreath behind me. If you enjoy the video, like the video. Let everyone know that it, it's, not, it's not bad, which was what we strive for here on T. Frank's film room. Not bad bad so let's meet Makai Flowers he is a uh, 177th player in the nation according to the on three consensus seventh overall athlete and fifth player in the state of Pennsylvania uh, going with the on three consensus because that is the I, I think more overall there's a little more data there than the on three ranking in particular now Makai Flowers has had an interesting career going from uh, Steelton uh, at a lower level in Harrisburg, to then Central Dauphin East, where he finished up his senior season last month. Um, he's always been a great athlete that has had a multitude of skills on the football field. It's been about finding him a home and finding him some consistency on the football field. I think there was a little bit of late development from him as a football player, which has accelerated in his senior season. And one of the things that has taken the biggest leap forward has been his tackling. Now, there's a couple different ways we'll get to this, but just in general, in the box, he's a very good football player. I think he shows great physicality, and he doesn't miss. Uh, you see, that's not an easy tackle. He's looking at the run and sees that it's a cutback, gets there and makes the play. As a safety, a lot of times you're cleaning up mistakes and problems. He's very good at that in the open field, breaking down and, of course, securing the ball carrier. I really like the way he tackles, sheds blocks, plays well in the box. A lot of these times, a lot of these plays here, he's just playing linebacker like on this one. Again, reads the play, comes downhill breaks down and secures the tackle. That is textbook tackling. That's what you want from your safety in run support. Good frame, six foot 185. I think he has the size to grow into a good boundary safety. That means he's going to be up to around 200 pounds. He's going to be playing at or near the line of scrimmage enough to make plays in the run game and also to fill in the underneath zones. So that's critical he's able to do that. It's also critical that he's good in pursuit. So not just tackling what's in front of him, but running plays down. Again, as a safety, that's a thing you've got to be able to do is run plays down even when you're out of position. That play right there, he's running one direction, changes the other, and gets to the football. These plays, maybe you like him to be a little more attentive at the snap, but still flying to the football and making big hits. I like this one too because this is a screen play. He's the man defender on the screener, and he goes and he gets it for a third down stop. Here's another great example of him being able to mirror the quarterback on an option play to fill and to tackle. That's the kind of thing you want to have from a safety to have the, the run instincts to match and mirror the running back, the quarterback, whoever has the football, and then explode downhill and get to the football. And that explosiveness is really athleticism. When we talk about athleticism, there's a lot of different catch-all things that that means. I think for him... What he does best is his closing burst, and that's what we've seen a little bit of, but let's look at it as a uh, as a coverage defender as well because that's an area that's really important, obviously, playing safety. We'll watch here. Of uh, This is the same route that Ohio State has run against Penn State many, many times. He runs it down in the flat. Here's another one. Underneath, he sees the screen. He goes and he gets it. Great instincts to run things down. Great vision. Again, flying in from off camera, the good old block your guy into the block and then knock the guy over with the football sort of play. By the way, it's Anthony Ivy he ran through there, another Penn State commit. This one I love because he's playing deep free safety and he beats the corner to the football. That's the sort of closing burst he has as a football player, and that's what you're going to get from, from him in that situation. Now, does he play deep? Is that his role going forward? I'm not necessarily certain. We'll see that in a little bit uh, because it's... It's a little bit hard to read in the way he plays 
and also the system he's playing in. I don't know that we have a great read on his coverage diagnostics overall. I think there's good starting foundation there, but there's not a ton in terms of seeing him in a too high look, seeing him break on balls. He's really kind of flying all over instinctively in a loose structured defense. So the thing about Flowers is that as good of an athlete as he is, as good of a closing burst as he is, it doesn't really describe what he can do on a football field. He's one of those guys playing basketball on grass. And this is what I mean when we'll just, these are all different ways he makes you go, wow, that's really impressive. A lot of these are as a receiver, which good hands, uh, ability to go up, get the football makes people miss that subtle change of direction, the agility. He's also used as a punt returner and a kick returner at Central Dolphin East. So he's got the agility and explosiveness to make those plays and good speed, good body control in the air. Just any sort of athleticism you want to throw into the bucket of, I don't have a specific thing to call it. Makai Flowers has that. So then the last thing to take a look at is how does he play in coverage when he's forced to do so? either in man coverage or in zone coverage where he's then singled up or any of those situations. And we're going to kind of filter all of that into the example of the plays he makes at the catch point, because I think this is an area of growth for him that he's going to need to make over the next 18 months or whenever he gets onto the football field. Good agility, good ability to get into position, good feet, doesn't make a play on the ball here. Another situation, again, Anthony Ivey in the slot, that's a really hard matchup. That's just testing the upper limits of what he's going to be at the next level. I don't know that he was quite up to that yet. This situation is a total busted coverage. He's the deep safety from what I can tell on this play and and just got beat. So those things can't happen if you're if you're a safety. And it's just one play, but you want to point it out to, to kind of give the rounded out view of what he is. And then it's not all bad. Great play on the ball there to break on that as that single high safety and make a play to knock the ball away. You'd like to see a little bit more ball production. You'd like to see a little bit more uh, clean play in the coverage side of things from uh, from Makai Flowers. It's good. There's some some good physical abilities, and I don't think he's guessing, but I don't know that he loves the details in coverage just yet. And I don't know that he's been taught them yet. So that's going to be something to see going forward. So when it comes to he's an athlete, is he a receiver? Is he a safety? I think it's pretty clear the way Penn State has treated his recruitment that he's a safety. He's settled into that with his tenacious run defense, his physical play, and the way that side of the ball has developed so quickly at Central Dolphin East. So I really like the building blocks there, but I think that everything he does is kind of a B plus. You'd like to see some A minuses and some A's in there to feel really good about him going forward. But the good news is, again, as an athlete, I think he's got a lot of those things to make that happen. It's just about turning everything up and continuing that growth from the maturity side of football that we've seen from his junior to his senior film. So what is he? Is he a free safety? Is he a strong safety? Again, I think he could possibly play free safety, although I don't know that even as a good athlete with a good closing burst, I don't know that he's the fastest guy on the football field. He's going to be fast for 200 pounds, but I don't know he's going to be elite speed to be that uh, sideline to sideline safety. I think his best role is going to be as an underneath defender, a physical presence in the in the run game, somebody you can use selectively in matchups in the slot, maybe not a best against the best slot receivers, but has good zone coverage ability as well. And you can you can play him deep when you need to, but his primary skills seem to be chase and tackle. And those are very valuable skills for a defense. It also fits very well with what they have in this class and on the roster. Penn State is in need to replenish some of those big physical safety type bodies. So that's Makai Flowers for T. Frank's Film Room. I'm your host, Thomas Frank Carr. Make sure you subscribe to our Blue White Illustrated YouTube channel so you don't miss anything from Penn State football.